Hello, my name is Fiona Price. I'm one of the practice educators at Y Valley NHS Trust, um, and I think you're interested in becoming a healthcare assistant with us. So I'm going to give you a little bit of introduction about the kinds of things, the kind of career uh, possibilities that you might have coming with us. So if you start with us as a healthcare assistant, fundamentally the most important job there is in the hospital, being a healthcare assistant, if you start with us, we'll give you some training at the beginning to get you an idea about what the job is all about and, and how you get involved with, with uh, what's going on. We'll get you to have to get the care certificate, for example, we can support you with that. And there are lots of skills that you'll be able to learn uh, in order to be able to look after your patients. Some of those skills that we can get you to think about, for example, once, you, once you've settled into your job a bit, we can get you to train in how to take blood from patients, so venipuncture. We can train you in uh, how to put cannulas, the little needles in the back of people's hands where they have drugs through. That's something you can do as a healthcare assistant. And also take heart tracings, that's another, another skill that you can learn. So those are lovely skills that will give your job some great interest and also improve our patient care so they get things done very quickly for, them, for themselves. So there are skills things that we can support you with, but there are also career opportunities that I'd like to introduce you to some thoughts of as well. You can take our trainee nursing associate uh, programme, for example. That's a two-year apprenticeship uh, where you go to university one day a week and over the two years you, you uh, learn how to become a nursing associate. Now, if that's something that sounds of interest, you can have a look, uh, look and, and get lots of research about that from the internet. There's lots of things you can find out. And that's something we can support you to do here. So you can train, you can become a nursing associate, you join the Nursing and Midwifery Council, register as a registered member of staff in, in the trust here. More than that even, I'm thrilled and excited to be able to say that we've just started our first pilot group of healthcare assistants, just like potentially yourselves, who have started the registered nurse degree apprenticeship in the Trust, which means that the Trust is supporting them to become nursing nurses and actually do their training with us for four years. So there's tremendous things that you can do and very exciting stuff that's going on. Um, I hope that you'll, you'll be very enticed to come and work with us and we've got a few healthcare assistants here who'll be able to show you a little bit about what that job is like on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi, my name is Marta. I come from Poland. I have been working and living in UK for about 14 years now. And here at the Hereford County Hospital with the NHS, I've been working for seven years on a respiratory room ward um, as a healthcare assistant. Every day here, it's different. Every day I'm learning something new and it's always busy. Being a HCA, it's not only about um, providing a help with a personal care for the patients. It's also about undertaking examinations like blood pressures, uh, ECGs. We can take blood, insert cannulas. Often a HCA is the first person to notice when a patient is deteriorating and they need a urgent medical care and to raise the attention and inform the doctor or a nurse very often we are the first to press that emergency call bell for a poorly patient. What we do here is very important. Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm a healthcare assistant on Ashgrove Ward. In mornings we start with helping the patients with their breakfast, help them get out of bed, making sure they have to, if the patients are able to wash themselves, we support them with that, encourage them to use the bathroom. And we support the patients who need more help with their personal care, get them washed and dressed for the day, encourage them to sit out in their chair, ready for the doctor's round. Then we'll offer them some drinks, tea or coffee, and start their 10 o'clock observations with, and speak to the doctors if they need any more, what they need to do in, to help that patient go home. So we're on, a, on a daily basis, we, we're using our online software to record our observations which we've taken with the patients, record if we've done a COVID swab, we'll request and order that online and make sure that, send, that, send that to the lab. Hello, my name is Hayley Evans. I'm a healthcare assistant at Arrow Ward. Before I came to the hospital, I was in home care. Um, came to the hospital three years ago and this is a great job. I love doing my job. It's rewarding in many ways. You see so many varieties of patients. You see them at their worst, so you get to help them. Um, also, you get to build a good rapport with them, so you get to know them on a very deep level as they rely on you. They come to you when they need help. They depend on you most of the time. 
You also get to see them get better, which is the best feeling, because they come in and they can be quite poorly. And then when they get to go home, it's the best feeling. I love my team. Um, no matter what you go through, it's, you do it together. You have your ups, you have your downs, you can cry, you can have your laughs. And it's nice when the patients can see that actually you work together well as a team. Um, I, I know they're always there if I need them. So my name is Mark Cox. I'm a therapy support worker. Uh, I'm based at one of the community hospitals in Herefordshire. Um, an average day for me, or a normal day for me, would consist of um, helping the therapists, um, assisting them in whatever tasks need doing. Uh, we normally have patients coming to us from the acute setting. Uh, they may be coming in from home. Um, a lot of them may be returning home. Some go to residential homes or nursing homes. So what we basically look at is we look at activities of daily living. So I'll be looking at um, how they're managing to take care of their personal care, how they're managing to look after themselves with meals, um, with uh, functional tasks like getting on and off the bed, getting on and off the chair, things like that. Um, and it's, it's a great role. It, it gives me the opportunity to work alongside people and follow their journey, the patient journey. And uh, that was the reason for me coming into it because um, starting off at the Trust working as, a, as an HCA, uh, I've got lots of experience, but the journey was sort of finishing at a point and I was very, very curious uh, about what happens next, you know, where does it go? And um, that doing, coming to therapy gave me the opportunity to do that, uh, which has been great. It's a very flexible role. Um, it's a very interesting role, it's very, it changes each day, you're, you're dealing with all sorts of things, you don't know what's waiting and, and you have challenges, you have obstacles of course, sometimes it's, it's difficult for the patients, um, but it's, it's good for them to know that you're there as, as a helping hand to help them through it because that's what they need, they need that encouragement and they need that support, uh, whether it's physical as well as emotional, um, so that's a wonderful thing. The working hours um, can start at 7.30. Um, we also have bank shifts available uh, where you can pick and choose basically uh, your working hours so it's flexible for, for working life and home the balance. Um, so that, that's a really good thing. The thing I love about my job the most is working with people. I'm a people person and having that opportunity to um, work with people and follow their journey and then see them improve, go home, is really rewarding, so I'd, uh, I'd recommend it as a career. Hello, my name is Felicity Archer. I'm one of the matrons that work in the medical division at Y Valley NHS Trust. I'd like to talk to you today about the vital part that healthcare support workers play in supporting our patients with their essential care needs. We expect you to work hard and care passionately about our patients and in return the Trust can support you in learning new skills and providing you with the appropriate knowledge. All ward managers are supportive of your development and there are many opportunities to progress. Teamwork and communication is the key to your success and we expect all staff to abide by our Trust values of compassion, accountability, respect and excellence. I look forward to welcoming you to Y Valley Trust.